Hello boys and girls, welcome to today's session where we have a series of topics we want to cover in mathematics, especially for the candidates and some class sevens who can handle the topics. Welcome to this session today. Today I want us to start with the topic higher purchase. Higher purchase is a way whereby you buy things by paying the first deposit or what we call down installment and then the balance you pay slowly in a number of months let's say two or three months then you'll be able to clear just like the way the word suggests higher purchase you are hiring the item because the item is not yours until you pay the last installment now also, higher can mean that I like using that word higher, referring to it being the highest price of the item that you'll ever pay. So, welcome and let's work together. And I believe that by the end of this session, you will have understood or have had a rough idea of what higher purchase is. Welcome and Karibu. So, as the word suggests, we are dealing with higher purchase. Hiring an item as you buy it slowly by slowly, so we call it the higher purchase. Now, the higher purchase is made up of, they say higher purchase price, is made up of a deposit, what some people call down installments, plus monthly installments monthly installments so when you pay the deposit you take the item and then you'll continue using it and as you continuously pay the agreed upon monthly installments now if you're using that formula you'll be able to get the higher purchase price of a given item now you can see it has got one, two, three parts of that equation or formula. Higher purchase, deposit, and monthly installment. Now if they ask you for the deposit alone, then you will find that this deposit remains on this side and the monthly installments cross the equal sign to join the higher purchase price minus a plus becomes a minus so higher purchase price minus the monthly installment will give us the deposit so here the month the deposit is what you have been looking for number three if they ask you for the monthly installments you and they have given you the higher purchase price You'll carry the deposit across the equal sign. We assume that it's a plus, it will become a minus. So higher purchase price minus the deposit will give us the monthly installments. That's the total monthly installments. Now with this, we are able to handle one, two, three. One, two, three parts. The first one, we were looking for the higher purchase price. Second one, we were looking for the deposit. And third one, we are looking for the installments. Now, I, want, I wish us to use a few examples, given and proven examples uh, from the past papers that you have already handled, then we shall be able to understand this well. Example number one, they, say, they are saying the cash price of cupboard is 3,000 shillings. So this particular item, if you go with the cash, cash price if you go with cash price you'll just pay three thousand shillings an interest of 25 percent is charged if you pay it on higher purchase meaning the higher purchase price will be up or higher by 25 percent or it will go up by 25 percent why i've already told you that higher purchase price is always the highest now if it will be higher by 25 percent then it will mean it will be 125 percent off 
the 3,000. So that these two zeros go with those two zeros and you remain with 330 times 125. 30 times 125 to give us 3,750. Now you can see, this is the cash price, this is the higher purchase price. More information. Amina bought this cupboard on higher purchase, meaning she's going to pay the 3,750. But in higher purchase terms, she paid a deposit and 12 equal monthly installments. Each installment was 262 shillings and 50 cents. So this higher purchase price, the way we have said, higher purchase price made up of a deposit. We don't know how much it is. Higher installments, she paid 12 of them. And each installment is 262 shillings and 50 cents. This gives us the total monthly installments. A deposit we don't know. High purchase price we've already established it's 3750. So 3750 plus the deposit that we don't know plus the total amount here should be able to give us the higher purchase price. Now when you multiply 262 shillings times 12, you'll get 3150. So what are we saying? We are saying the higher purchase price plus the deposit should give a uh, 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 higher purchase price is equal to the deposit plus installment. We have the higher purchase price, 3750, is equal to a deposit we don't know, and installments we have now 3150. So to get the D, to get the deposit, this deposit, it's the higher purchase price minus the total installments. So that will now be 3750 less 3150 to get the deposit she paid as 600. So in that particular year, the year 2013, they wanted you to find 600 shillings as the answer to this question. Let's take another example again where they are asking a different thing among the three. So the first question 2013, they were looking for formula number two. Now let's look for another example here again and see how far you have understood. Here it goes. Kerubo bought a TV set on by paying a deposit of 2,400. So she paid for 2,400 plus 15 equal monthly installments of 500. So every month she was paying 500. So we have the higher purchase price is equals to deposit plus installments. What have they given us? A deposit of 2,400. Installments, she paid 15 of them and every month she's paying 500. So definitely this is now going to give me the higher purchase price. Now they are saying this higher purchase price was higher by 10%. It was more than 10%. So what was that mark price? So I have to establish the higher purchase price once. So 15, I have to multiply the 15 by the 500 to be able to get the higher purchase price. So let's go with that. 15 times 500 should give us 7,000. 500. So if I add the 2,400, I'll be able to get the higher purchase price, which will now be 9,900 shillings. So this is the higher purchase price. Now, as we already agreed, Komba, the higher purchase price is always high. In this particular examination question, they are telling us that this price, higher purchase price, is higher by 10% of the marked price. So I'll say the marked price is equal to X. Now, 110% of the marked price is the 9,900. So how much is this marked price? You cancel this, the reciprocal will be 100 over 110. So that this zero cancels that one. 11 goes there once. 11 goes here 9 times, so 900 times 10 to give us the marked price as 9,000 shillings. 
So the market price was 9,000. The higher purchase was 9,900. That's yet another question from the KCP exam that was done some times back. Now, the next one again, they are going to ask us again to see if we understand how this goes about. Let's take another example that will help us to understand more. Here it goes. The cash price of a radio is just 8,000 shillings. So cash, if you go with cash, you'll just pay 8,000 shillings. Higher purchase, of course, should be higher. The higher purchase price is 50% more than the cash price. So the higher purchase price will be 150 off the 8,000. That is, this one is 100% raise it up by 50% so that it becomes 150% of the 8,000 that zero takes that this one takes that one so I'm looking for the higher purchase price the higher purchase price which means let me multiply that and say uh, one, uh, 15 times 8 should give us 40 carry 1 12 and then 1 2 so it is translating to 12,000 so the cash price 8000 higher purchase price takes 12000 now what did they ask that particular year some amina bought this radio on higher purchase by paying a deposit of 2400 this is a kcp question 2012 so we have agreed that higher purchase price is equals to a deposit plus installment so higher purchase price 12000 established is equals to the deposit we don't know he paid a deposit given to us is 2400 installments had to do it so we have to look for these installments you carry the deposit onto this side carry the deposit onto the opposite side the deposit bring it here higher purchase minus the deposit should give us the monthly installment so that would be 12,000 minus 2000 400 what am i looking for i'm looking for the installments total installments zero zero six and that was eleven nine so this is the total installments now this one she was paying only 800 shillings every month so the question was in how many months did she pay the installments so every month she was paying 800 shillings. So if she was paying 800 shillings per month, it will mean that she used 96 over 8. That is a whole year or simply 12 months. She used 12 months to clear the 9,600. So in summary, boys and girls, it's very simple for today. Higher purchase is the highest and it involves a deposit and monthly installment and then higher purchase minus the total installment you'll get the deposit and higher purchase minus the deposit should give you that in total installment and in case they ask you for the months the way they did in 2012 you just get the total installment divided by the monthly installment and you'll get the number of months they are using to clear that particular payment for the item you have bought on higher purchase so that's all for today welcome again when we take another topic that we shall be handling in this long series that we shall be handling thank you and bye for now in busi final it's my name enjoy maths learning maths is full of fun bye for now